Here is a good rule of thumb, or potential lack thereof. Table saws can bite. A quick demonstration. Wood. T-bone steak. Wood. Steak. Wood. Steak. Are we clear on this? Good. Yeah, there's about 60,000 medically treated accidents on table saws every year. About 3,000 people take their fingers off, about 10 a day. Oh, 10 a day. Steve Gass, a lifelong woodworker, is trying to bring that number 10 down to zero. He has developed a system that stops the blade of a saw if it comes in contact with your finger. He calls it Saw Stop. The system can tell the difference between your finger and the wood. So when you're cutting wood, if you accidentally run your hand into the blade, it'll stop it so quickly that you just get a little nick instead of maybe taking some fingers off. The blade has a sensor that detects electrical conductivity. A piece of wood is not very conductive, so the saw goes right through it. A salty, wet finger is conductive. Well, it's a lot like a touch lamp. There's a small electrical signal on there, conducts that signal into my body, and my body absorbs some of the signal, and that triggers the system. Okay. It'll detect that in less than a thousandth of a second. Okay. Any volunteers? I trust you. Hey, over there in the fridge. Yeah, you. Yes. That's right. We're going to use a salty, wet, conductive, all-beef frank. And so I'll hold it just like it was my thumb. You got to be kidding me. Let's see it. There's yes. nothing. It is. That is amazing. That really is. I mean, that's... Uh, it's like nothing ever happened. The blade is rotating at about 5,000 RPM. It's forced to stop in one one-thousandth of a second. It saves a finger, but mangles the machine. You know, you have so much momentum in here. You're decelerating something at like a thousand Gs, you know, a thousand times the acceleration of gravity. Now we get warped. Machine stops on a dime, or in this case, a franc machine is not happy about this fact. Any way that this asymmetrically hits the weight, yeah. it's just going to put huge torques. You're slowing this thing down at a thousand Gs. We just have no human reference to what that yeah. means. That's yeah. like driving a car a thousand miles an hour and hitting a wall. Yeah, concrete wall. And it's just flapping like it's a piece of paper. 5,000 RPMs is a lot of energy. The energy has to go somewhere when it stops, so it's transferred to the saw stop module, which acts like the crumple zone in a car. The module and saw blade are now officially trashed. But hey, at a cost of about $60, better to pay that than with a finger. It's an amazing idea, and it's implemented in a way where you're using energy for its own stop. Steve Gass is a true believer in his design, which brings us to our next demonstration. Steve is going to put his own finger into the table saw blade. So, um, how are you feeling about this? I'm a little nervous. <laughs> yes, you knew we had to go for it. I don't much like doing it, but uh, it is such a unique opportunity. Let's do it. There's not going to be a take two here. Having everything set right is crucial. As if you need a reminder, this is with saw stop. This is without. With, without. That mask Steve is about to put on isn't a protection from spurting blood. It's to protect his eyes from the bright lights needed by our high-speed cameras. Yeah. Now you want to try putting your finger in there and just tell but us how But you it are never going to try this at home, okay. right? Yep. Right? Finally. Lights, camera, conductivity. <laughs> you all right? Yep. There's no blood. There's nothing. Nope. It didn't hurt. <laughs> this is a man who has faith in his creation. Now we bet you've never seen this before. A finger being shoved into a table saw. At least, we hope you aren't one of those unlucky ten. We know the machine stopped, and we know nobody got hurt. But we gotta say it. Ouch! It felt a little like a, I don't know, a buzz or a tickle almost. You're talking about your finger in a table saw, and you're talking about a buzz and a tickle. <laughs> We've done a lot of bizarre things in our lab, but somehow this demonstration of a man's faith in technology is one of the coolest. That was... 
unbelievable thing to do, and uh, you've proven your point.